Hey guys, it's Machow, and today is the first episode of my new channel segment, or a new segment on my channel, Talk Time. Now, Talk Time, if you guys have ever seen Smosh Games, it's kind of like a why we're single video. It's I pick a topic that I want to talk about, and I talk about it. And today, for the first one ever, I was thinking the games with the best storylines. And right off the top of my head, I think I'm going to have to show you... You guys are gonna see it. It's such a good storyline, guys. Like, seriously, it's a good, it's a good one. Look at this. It's such a good storyline. So, I have to say, I did get a little bored during this game when, like, right around I was at this point in the game where I was like on the docks as Trevor like putting boxes down where I could be online like throwing sticky bombs at people and I did that for a while but then I went back to it and I ended up finishing the game and it's an amazing storyline not only the free play is amazing and the graphics are insane but the storyline it's I'm not gonna spoil anything right now but all the characters that they have in there because in previous GTA 5's it was nowhere near as good as this one, in my point of view. Now for the next one, some of my favorite games is the Mass Effect series. And not gonna lie, at the end of the last Mass Effect, spoiler alert right here, click away from this video if you don't want like a whole... Mass Effect, like, franchise spoiler. But at the end, when, like, the universe, like, ends and stuff, it's sad. I teared up a little bit. And they're saying that they're not going to make a new Mass Effect, which they probably won't. But just think about, like, Star Wars. Like, the Death Star blew up, and then it fast-forwarded, like, a couple of years or something, and they built a new Death Star. They could do that with Mass Effect and, like, how many girls do you have sex with during the Mass Effect friend like games? So many. One of those game, one of those girls that you banged, could have a son, like the son of the commander, and he could be a total badass. And like the whole universe has like rebuilt itself. So there's just like the badass son of the commander, and it it'd be awesome. And the Mass Effect series, it's kind of like a like a. What are they called? Telltale. It's kind of like a telltale where you like have decisions, like every decision like makes a difference. And I really like those kind of games. Which, since we're talking about telltale, I think we have to go with The Walking Dead. Come on, we're waiting. Okay, I don't know if it's going to show the game. But nope, it's showing the storyline. Here, here's a little thing from the game. I guess we could point that. But the Walking Dead game, I mean, the ending. Another spoiler alert. Click away if you don't want any Walking Dead game spoilers. This is season one, though. I think most people know it. But click away if you don't. I cried so much because at the beginning of the story, you play as Lee and you find this little girl abandoned in a treehouse. And later in the game, you find out that her parents are dead. But you take her in as your own. Like, you take her under your wing. And at when Lee dies at the end, and she's all alone, I don't know. If I was Clementine, I would crap myself. I mean, let's be for real. If the zombie apocalypse, hap zombie apocalypse was happening, and the one person around you died, you're pretty sure you'd have some major Hershey squirts going on in your pants. But I think they went for really telltale. Went for a cartoony style, which I like. Like, I like the graphics in here. But the thing about it is people were were not too thrilled when they first announced telltale, when they were announcing that they were having a Walking Dead. Because the Walking Dead franchise, they have books, TV shows, a video game now, but... It's so big in Telltale games before this were like, like the Jurassic, 
Can I Talk? The Jurassic Park game and the Back to the Future game. And those, in my opinion, were not very good. So when people thought they're taking on this super big franchise, they think, oh, they're just going to make a crap game that nobody's going to like. But when they made this amazing game, and there, there's a second season out too, people were surprised, and they bought it. And it, I'm, it's like 2012 Game of the Year or something. It's awesome. Um, and that brings us... A lot of people didn't like this storyline, but I don't know. I loved it. Assassin's Creed for I don't know I liked the third one and like the other ones before that the third one was good but Kenway just something about him how like before them like Connor wanted revenge and like vengeance and stuff just Kenway just wanted an excuse to get drunk and get gold which I feel like if I was an assassin I'd be like Kenway because you know I don't need vengeance I need booze in the money and I don't know it's a pretty pretty damn good life but I think the storyline with the whole Blackbeard, I say I did kind of zone off a little bit when, like, you were just, like, like, saying it sounds on the ocean, like, yard, timber, I don't know, just, like, piratey things, and you were just on your ship. I did not like that as much. Same with the third one. When you had to, like, go back and forth from Boston to the woods, Boston to the woods, and you had to walk all the way, it was so boring. I know that you could get a horse, but... Still, it took a lot of time, which I would rather be assassinating people, obviously. Because, let's be for real, we bought the Assassin's Creed games to assassinate people. Hence the name. Anyway, Assassin's Creed, awesome storyline. So, if you guys want to leave any comments about what you guys think games are the best storylines, or whatever you guys want to do, or what I should do next for Talk Time, this new segment that I'm hoping does well, leave it in the comments. Subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.